Did you ever think you'd be a father at your age? It's not me who's a father, it's Troy. I've heard of this uh, gay adoption, but what I can't work out is, when you get the baby, how do you know it's gay? I've not adopted a baby. I've got a grown-up son. He's 21. Oh, heck! Oh, it's amazing what they can do these days, isn't it? She thinks you made him out of sticky black plastic. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to nip across the road. A celebration like this calls for champagne. Ooh. Come on, now. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, I love champagne. Be careful now. We don't want it to go everywhere. Don't think there's much chance of that. Three! <laughs> no. Cheers. 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 They're having champagne. Are they? That Donald's just brought it in. All right. What's he got champagne for? No idea. Do you think he's won something? I won't be surprised, Jammy Sod. I can't see properly. What do you think he's won? Nosy Parker of the Year. I think you should go over there and tell him he should have come second. I'm not being nosy, I'm just curious. Right, what are you two doing? Bloody hell! I don't remember calling Ghostbusters, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. Imagine I need a word. What about...? We need to tell you something. Janie, please, give me one more chance. No, I told you, you sucked. Please, I have explained. I, I was in bed all night with a fever. Oh, I'm sure you were in bed all night. But not how do you think. I swear to you, the reason I didn't go to work last night was because I was not well. Janie, please, I need this job. Oh, shit. I get changed. Hey, I didn't say yes yet. Thanks so much for coming, Kate. Shame we can't fly back together. Well, you have your return ticket paid for. It would be insane to buy another one. Well, I can't buy another one, because I don't have that kind of money. Well, that's sorted, then. Oh, God, I almost forgot. I've got you something. Martin, I've got to go. Wait there one minute. You ordered a taxi for the airport? Yes. South side. Thank you. As you both know, I came back to Benidorm with the idea of setting up some kind of business. Now, I'm sure you'll be the first to point out that so far, none of my efforts has been a complete success. Well, apart from the bacon factory in Israel, there's not a lot left for you to do. So I've decided to think big. Very brave for a man four foot eight in Cuban heels. Can we just listen to what he's got to say? Instead of setting up my own venture, I've decided to buy an established business here in Benidorm. Can't tell you what it is yet before I've sealed the deal. But we want you to know that Madge and I are relocating. Relocating where? We're buying a business in Benidorm. Where do you think we're relocating to? Skagness? I don't understand. But crying out loud, what's there to understand? Me and Mel are buying a business and we're staying in Benidorm. For how long? Permanently. You can't just not come home. We need to discuss it. Why do we need to discuss it? What's it got to do with you? Hello, son. Have you had any breakfast? What do you think you're doing? What do you mean? I've only just been let out of the police station. I know I was going to pop by this morning, but I thought it'd make more sense to get us to some beds. I've just spent the night in the Spanish cells. And the best thing you can do to help me is reserve me a sunbed. Well, I didn't think they'd be keeping you much longer. I mean, you didn't really do anything, did you? I spent 36 hours banged up for wasting police time, thanks to you. 
Do you want a cornetto? I know it's only early, but I've just had one. Do I want a cornetto? No, I don't. I don't want anything from you. That's me and you finished. Do you understand? What about a strawberry, Miffy? You like them? That's like an ice cream and a nice lolly in one, isn't it? Are you not listening to me? It's over. I'm moving out when we get back. Moving out? Where to? Where will he go? As far away from you as possible. What about an ice pop? There's no calories in an ice pop. All I'm saying is it's just a bit sudden. Maybe you should come home for a couple of weeks and think about it. Can I live in Spain with you, Nana? What's the UK got to offer us? Bad weather, the credit crunch and miserable people. Why didn't you talk to us? Hey, look on the bright side. If they do stay here, that's two less miserable people in the UK. What business have you bought? I'm sorry, Jans. We can't discuss that before the papers have been signed. In fact, we're just off to do that now. I'll tell you what. Mick will go with you and I'll stay here and talk to my mother. I'm not staying here. I'm going with Mel. Well, we'll all go. It'll be a nice day out. If you think I'm spending the last days of my holiday chasing around after Donald and Ivana Trump, you can piss off. In fact, I do need you to come with us, Mick. There are a few things I need to discuss with you. Forget it. There's a pool through there with my name on it. Well, I do have to hand over the UK sunbed shops to someone. Come on, you lot. These papers aren't going to sign themselves, are they? Oh, there. Who's it going? Hola. Wink McAndrew. What? Wink McAndrew. I don't know what that means. No, man. That's my name. Wink McAndrew. Are you speaking English? Of course I'm speaking English, you numpty. I should have arrived on the coach, but there was a problem with my flight. I'm sorry, this just sounds like a noise to me. You gotta be joking me. You never had a Glaswegian book then? Still just a noise. <laughs> you were right, Pa. <laughs> you're a wee bit jumpy, lad. You sure you're OK? Look, I tell you what, I'll check in later, eh? I could do with a drink now anyway. No hard feelings, eh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get them every time, I love it. <laughs> Oh, Troy having a son must have come as a bit of a shock to you, Gavin. Yes, you could safely say my gob has never been more smacked. So has your son got a boyfriend? He's got a girlfriend. He's straight. Oh, I am sorry. Still, it's a free country. I say, live and let live. Donald Stewart, as I live and breathe, I don't believe it. Wink McAndrew! What on earth are you doing here? Sun, sea, sangria and... Oh, hello there. You must be Donald's better half. Uh, Wink, this is my wife Jacqueline. Jacqueline, this is an old friend of mine, Wink McAndrew. Delighted, I'm sure. My God, Stewport, you always did get the stunner. And these are our friends, Gavin and Troy. Good to know you, boys. Ah! Get up! <laughs> Get them every time. It's homemade. 150 volts. Can he buy them in the shops? <laughs> God, it must be, what, 20 years? And the rest. Still, you don't look a day over 70. <laughs> Are you still in ladies' underwear? No, no. I haven't had the market store for a few years now. I run an online joke shop now. Never a dull moment. That's a matter of opinion. Right, same again, I assume. Uh, before that, though. Been a long flight, so I'd better give Mr. Squawk some air. What's that, Mr. Squawk? You've had a long flight, and you're feeling a wee bit peckish. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
you got more than a mouthful there, Mr. Squawky. You're a naughty bird, a naughty bird. <laughs> right, drink. You're a naughty bird, Mr. Squawky. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. Fasten your seatbelts, boys. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, you look ridiculous sitting back there. Anybody would think you couldn't walk. I couldn't care less what people think. You could have at least blacked out the windows. It's a mobile showroom. What's the point of a mobile showroom when you haven't got a shop? Honestly, this is embarrassing. We should have rented a car. I've had it made, so we're using it. <sighs> Where are we going anyway? I told you, sign the papers for a new business. Which is what? All right. As long as you keep it under your sombrero till we get there. I don't think there's going to be many rival entrepreneurs hanging around at the traffic lights. Come on in, try private eye. Spill the beans. See that there? Yeah, the Banidorm Palace. What about it? I'm buying it. You're buying that? Certainly am. Holy moly! Hallelujah! 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 I tell you what. Why don't you both come back home for a week? We'll weigh up the pros and cons, and we'll really make sure staying in Spain's the right thing for you. How many times do you need telling we're staying here? But what about your house? You've got two cats. Mary next door said she'd feed them. She said she'd feed them for a week. You can get rid of cats easy. Your father was forever down the canal with a bag of kittens. Do you know, I do regret not spending more time with your dad before he died. He sounds lovely. Can you lot all pick your feet up? This fella's a man, not the kind of man who likes to be kept waiting, I imagine. Now, according to this, we're only a few streets away. Mel, what if we find a bar or a cafe and just have a chat about all this? You're joking. It's a bloody ghost town. I don't think they have people here, never mind a cafe. Oh, look, if you weren't here on Friday, we're having a reenactment of the Battle of the Moors and the Christians. We wouldn't have been able to get down these streets. I sometimes wonder if life really is worth living. Right. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm pretty depressed as it is. I'm not sure I want this conversation. Oh. Did I... say that out loud? Yes. Do you know I've never had a girlfriend? Really? No. Not a proper one. Richard Burton said, unless you love someone, nothing much makes sense. I suppose he would have known. What happened with your missus? Sorry? She was here yesterday. Has she gone home again? Yeah. Just came to lend me some money and help me get a new passport. Well, she came all the way out here to do that. Yeah, she did. Bloody hell. You don't get many like that. No, you don't. Are you going to the bar? I'll come with you. No, I'm going to the airport. <laughs> if you 
He might have Asperger's. Joe at work, she thinks her son's got it. Ugh. It's so ridiculous. These elaborate names they give for so-called illnesses these days. He is an annoying twat. <laughs> Joe's son is an annoying twat. Winker Watson, or whatever his name is, a slightly larger annoying twat. Diagnosis complete. Who are you texting? Jamie. He's got some time off work. Him and the girlfriend are thinking of having a couple of days away somewhere. Just giving him some suggestions. What about... What? Well, this holiday was free. Yeah? No, it's a bad idea. <laughs> what, to come here? Not exactly. I've always wanted us to spend a few days in Alicante. Can't afford it. No, you're right, we can't afford it. <laughs> Hi, uh, is Jamie there, please? It's... It's his dad. So, are you here on your own? Aye, aye. My, my wife died in 2001. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You think rewiring a satellite dish would be a straightforward job, huh? No. Oh, dear. Uh, the worst part about it was all the accusations. What accusations? Oh, you know, you forced her up there. You never liked her. You must have realised she was still on the roof when you took away the ladder. So, Wink, that's an unusual name. <laughs> it's, not, it's not my real name. No, no, it's a nickname. See, when I was a wee boy, I had a rather unfortunate facial tick. People thought I was winking at them but it was only a slight spasm around the eye, which disappeared when I got older. But for some reason, the name stuck. <laughs> oh, see? Like that. Like what? You just did it. Did what? Hey? You just did it again. Did what again? I off. Hiya. Here we go. This should keep us going till this evening. Ah, that's the stuff, big man. I'll get torn into one of them, then I'd better go and check in. No mustard, no. Absolutely. I'll just get it back in a tick. <laughs> <laughs> Outside. Have you? Yeah. She said you've had an argument. If you've come here, have a go at me, then. I haven't come to have a go at you. Chill out. Your mum's nice enough, but I can see how she'd do your head in after a bit. You can say that again. You probably just need a bit of space. Yeah, well, she can have all the space she likes. I'm moving out when I get back. Wish I could move out. No chance of me getting a place on my own, though. And I wouldn't want to share with someone I didn't know. Who would you want to share with? I don't know. Not that fussed. Somebody I get on with. Somebody I can trust. Somebody who likes kids. What are you grinning at? Nothing. I'm gonna go get a drink. Do you want one? Yeah, I'd love one. Will you keep an eye on my son? Definitely. I love kids, mate. What? Nothing. What do you reckon? Do you think it would work out? Are you 
you serious? Why not? I don't know. What don't you know? Well, if it'd work, we hardly know each other. There's one way to find out. Well, it might be a bit weird. Why? Cos. Cos what? Just flatmates, yeah. Whatever you want. You'll probably change your mind when we get back home. I doubt it. I know a good thing when I see it. Oh, there you are. I won't disturb you. I just wanted to make sure you're all right. I think it's time we got some dinner, isn't it? You two get something. I don't want to get on your nerves any more than I have done, son. Come on, let's all go. We can tell you about an idea we've had. Oh, I do hope you two have decided to have another go. Can't tell you how disappointed he was when the last girl he went out with turned out to be a fella. <laughs> Office. Who do you think we're waiting to see by the bloody Christmas? Well, I don't know. Is the mayor the owner of the Benidorm Palace? No, I went to see them this morning. I have to have some papers signed by the mayor to say the deal can go through. All right. Well, thanks for bloody waiting for me. Shh. Sit down, will you? Don't need you to mess this up. No, I'm sure you'll do that very well on your own. Were you OK, Dad? Did you have to fight the soldiers? Yeah, we're right exciting. Whoa. Who have you been fighting? You couldn't fight for breath. Listen, I've had just about enough of you for one day. S Sorry. You were should have come on me own if you balls this up for me. I smell hardly. Mel Harvey. Ah, uh, Jets. The Deputy Mayor will see you now. Deputy Mayor? Thought you had to see the Mayor? Oh, the fobbing you off already. Shut up. All right, you lot stay here. We think you're going. You might need backup. Backup? We didn't get his Starsky and Hutch. Mmm, <laughs> see, see, see. See, see. I'll leave this to me. They can be very temperamental, the Mediterraneans. His English is probably very bad. It'll only confuse him if more than one of us speaks. See? Si. Valley. Adios. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Some dickhead has dumped a 20-foot-high motorbike outside my caravan almost a week ago, and the council refusing to shift it. Honestly, if you try and get anything done round here, it's like... Waiting for bloody Goddo. Right. How can I help you? Kate! Oh! Sorry, sorry, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I thought you were somebody else. I need to speak to you. My plane leaves in 20 minutes. Please, this won't take long. I really have to go. I can't miss this flight. Please, just hear me out. Kate, I want us to try again. Martin. No, let me finish. I know it won't be easy, and I'm not suggesting I should move back in straight away. I just think if, if we give each other some space and take it one day at a time... Martin. I'm seeing somebody. What, a psychiatrist? Beg your pardon? Sorry, what, what do you mean? I mean, 
I'm seeing somebody else. What, you mean a man? Yes. A man. You didn't think I meant a woman, did you? No, no, I'm... You're, you're seeing a man? Yes. I, I tried to tell you yesterday, but... Well, I didn't seem to find the right moment. But I don't understand. Why did you come all the way out here? Because you need my help. And I still care for you. You care for me? Of course. But that's where it ends. That's where it ends. I wish it had been a woman. At least then it would have been a bit... sexy. Martin, I have to go. Martin? I love you, Kate. I'm sorry. I suppose we could always move out here. Be a shame for you not to see Michael grow up. I could get a little job out here. What could you do out here? I'm not sure. Maybe I could get a little job working for somebody I know. How on earth would you do that? You don't know anybody here. Well, I'm sorry about this, fellas. I, I know it's here somewhere. You, know, you can't hear yourself think with all that silly bollocks going on. The reenactment of the battle between the Moors and the Christians, isn't it? Oh, I haven't a clue. They are festivals for looking left and looking right here. It's my brother-in-law who's the mayor, and I'm just filling in while he's out there with them silly buggers, knocking seven bells of shite out of each other. Now, let's have a look at this. Yes, now, this is the one. Now, if I sign this... I need you to do a favour for me. No problem. My father used to hold a position in local government. I know how things work. Name your price. Oh, put your money away, you silly bugger. I need you to help me get rid of this bloody bike from outside my house. Oh, right. Now, you won't believe this, but they drove up on this ridiculous bike outside my caravan, jumped off it, went straight through the roof. Get away. I'm serious. Then they busted the lock on my front door to get out. It's going to cost me about, oh, 800 euros to get everything fixed. What are people like these days? Probably kids. No, I don't think it's kids. There was a sign on the bike. Probably just random advertising. Has out had anything to do with the owners of the bike? Oh, it was for one of those mobility scooter shops on the beach. There was a picture of a little gnome on it. A gnome? <laughs> I mean, uh, a gnome. Oh, it's unusual. I went down to the shop. It was all burnt out. Honestly, the number of clowns who come over here trying to set up businesses, they don't know their arse from their elbow. There we are. Now that's for you. Let's go. <laughs> We uh, might have to come back later in the week with a tow rope, if that's all right. Oh, yeah. No problem. You know where I am now. All right. See you later. <laughs> and don't forget... We won't. All the best. Definitivamente el Papa no ha venido. 
No lo sé. Oye, ¿sigue viva la madre Teresa de Calcuta? Tell me where will you be mine? Tell me wonder, wonder, wonder. I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight if I'd left you moping around on your own. I'm really okay. I told her to leave you alone, but she was having none of it. My husband always said, a trouble halved is a problem shelved. I mean, a trouble shelved is a problem halved. No, that's not right. Well, anyway, he also said, a bird with one hand is worth two in your bush. And I think it's at times like this, it's worth keeping that in mind. Every day seems alive. So there's any chance you might sort it out when you get back home? No, I think it's pretty much beyond that. Well, you say that, but you never know. I mean, look at Charles and Diana. I can wait a moment more. Have you got him settled? Yeah, it was off before we got there. Oh, you're going to miss that crash, aren't you? Well, don't worry, baby Coolio's always got his grandma to look after him. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. I'm thinking of moving out. What? Where are you going? I'm just thinking about it. That's right. Bugger off and leave your mother right when she needs you. You'll want to talk. When did all this come about, sweetheart? Oh, no. I know what she's up to. She wants to come here and live with us. As if? Well, you can frig off. Two's company, three's a crowd. Not to mention that child of yours. I can probably sort you out with a little flat somewhere, darling. Where do you want to go? Mum, you all right? What the hell, Janice? What's wrong? Why is everybody leaving me? What have I done to you all? Hey, nobody's leaving you. Don't be daft. I want you to be happy, Mother, but it's just ridiculous you're not coming home again. What about all the things in your house? You haven't thought it through. I've told you. You can take what you want from the house. The council will dump the rest when they get the house back. I don't want anything from your house. I just want you. Christ knows why. Don't ask me to explain it, but I just don't want you to go. That's not my fault you've got no friends. All right, that's enough. Come on, John, we'll go for a drink in the other bar. I don't want to go for a drink in the other bar. I'll be all right. I'm not going right away. I was just thinking about it. You should do what you want, sweetheart. You're a grown woman now. I sometimes forget. I didn't mean to upset you. You didn't upset me, darling. You've got your own life now. I was just being selfish. Oh, the penny drops. Madge. You know I'll help you anywhere I can, sweetheart. But believe me, there's nobody can look after a daughter like a mother can. Is that right? Back in a minute. Yeah, sure. What was it all about? I don't know, I couldn't hear. Well, you're closer than me. I know, but it's difficult to eavesdrop on a conversation when the person next to you keeps saying, what are they saying? What are they saying? What are they saying? Hello, there, boys. How are you? You all right? Never better. You are ready for a fun-filled evening? It's going to be a hilarious night tonight, I can tell you that. Really? Why is that? Are you leaving? Eh? Nothing. Oh, I think someone's waving at you. Ah, come over and join us later. I'd rather die. TTFN, F U C K U. <laughs> hey, I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, I'm awfully flattered, but you're not really my type. <laughs> <laughs> I have many complaints about you. About me? You must be the wrong chap. Can you understand him? I can. Tell him I have complaints about the man in the dress who keeps showing his pee-pee to other guests. I beg your pardon, how dare you? You know, that kind of accusation can land you in a lot of trouble. Well, it's quite right. There you are, you see, you've got the wrong man. I beg your pardon? It's only a bit of fun. Right. Um, 
I think maybe you should be careful, Wink, my old pal. As you know, Jacqueline and I are very broad-minded, but these Latin types are not as free and easy as you might think. They can get quite hot under the collar about this kind of thing. Is uh, this the offending article? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Put it away. Ha ha ha, very funny. But one more complaint and I'll have to remove you. Oh, it's very easily removed. <laughs> <laughs> I have my eye on you. Oh, come on. It's only a joke, pal. Eh? No hard feelings, eh? Please. Oh, come on. Something wrong. Tim. Who? When? Yeah. What about him? He's been giving me the willies. You kept that quiet. Where was I? No, I mean, he frightens me. Why on earth would he do that? Oh, I don't know. It's just something about him. Did you know about his wife? Carol. Yes, of course. There's nothing sinister about her death. It was proven in court. There's no way he could have known that those mushrooms were poisonous. This was the 70s. People didn't know about these things. But he said his wife died in 2001 from falling off the roof after he'd moved the ladders. Oh, it must be a different wife. There you go, big man. Same again. We an added wee kick from the old pal Wink. Don't be asking me what it is, though. Could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> I'm not backing out. I just think I'd better wait a bit while my nana and her husband settle over here. Well, I'm in no rush. It's probably better give me mum a bit more notice as well. Hmm. So... Maybe, I don't know, a couple of months, maybe three. Three months, six months, whatever. Some good things are worth waiting for. <laughs> what do you mean, sharing a flat? I mean you. Get back. You coming? I'll be there in a minute. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. See you later. Yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, crack and straight on with the karaoke. First cab off the rank is Wank Mac Andrews. I can't be right, terrible handwriting. Singing the proclaimers, I would walk 500 miles. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> This snobhead. That's the bloke I complained about earlier, waving his bits around in reception. Thought it looked too big to be real. That's about average. Well, I wake up. Ah! Ah! Cut the music, cut the music, me tell you. Hey, 
he's dead. Dead? He can't be dead. He, he only touched the mic stand. Maybe if he's in debt, but he definitely is not alive. It's probably for the best. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Slight technical itch there. Uh, he's, uh, he's perfectly all right. Just a minor problem. Uh, static electricity is... Nylon penis brushed against the mag standing. Give him a bit of a belt. <laughs> yeah, um, right, um, what's up next? Oh, yes, we have our old friends, Madge and Mel Harvey. Let's give them a big hand. Uh, just before we sing, there's a small announcement I'd like to make. I want to thank all who attended the opening of Mel's Mobility Shop. It was a memorable occasion, I'm sure you'll all agree. But I'm a great believer in signs, and I think that place burning to the ground was a sign that the mobility business won for me. But I'm pleased to announce my latest business adventure. Every princess deserves a palace. And that's why I bought Madge her very own. The Benidorm Palace. Yes, that's right, folks. Madge and I, the new proprietors, the number one entertainment venue on the Costa Blanca. Some would say the whole of Europe. By the time we finish with it, probably the world. It'll take me a few weeks to lick the dancing girls into shape and grab a few tits on, uh, tips on being in show business. I'm sorry that didn't exactly come out as I meant it. Uh, but for now, we'd like to sing this song for Mick, Janice, Michael, and Sal. Say you and your Spanish eyes will win. 